What's going on YouTube? This is Necro Steve, and I have my first match for the ABL. That's right. This is not the LBA. It's the ABL. We're going to switch it up a little bit. I joined this league that uh, Tactical Monkeys started. Uh, of course, he and I both were participating in the LBA, and he wanted to give a shot at his own league. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to highlight some of my favorite Pokemon. Um, I actually went into this draft with, uh, this draft requires you to draft three Pokemon from each tier, OU, UU, RU, and NU. And so not only does that give you 12 Pokemon to work with, and then 12 Pokemon you have to plan for, but it just gives you a lot more uh, freedom, kind of, to mess with sets and use things that are a little bit um, unexpected. Or unexpected, if you want the obvious Pokemon pun. Now, my first week battle was actually, uh, who did I go up against first? I actually went up against the, um, wow, I'm totally blinking at now. Oh, that's right, I went up against the Albanian Absols. Now, the Albanian Absols were, uh, actually coached by pranksters, and I believe he has a YouTube channel, so I, if he does, I'll link it in the description. He actually drafted Charizard Y, while I drafted Charizard X. Uh, I did want to get some more experience with Charizard, I actually don't use Charizard that often because I consider Venusaur vastly superior, but superior. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, throw that in there. But at the same time, this is a good opportunity. I'm using some of my favorites. Get some more experience with Char Charizard. Excuse me. Uh, Charizard X can run a variety of different builds. So that makes him pretty useful. Unfortunately, he does require rapid spin support, but that's where it's easy to use Hit him on top or uh, Yuxi with Magic Bounce and things like that. Um, and of course, Drapion is another Pokemon that I drafted that I really liked. But in this battle, Drapion didn't seem to be that great of a choice. Um, he had Hitmon Lee. He also had Bisharp and Thunderous and Blissey, so I just didn't want to use it against all that. I actually ended up bringing a pretty good matchup, bringing Swallow and, and a substitute Charizard. So I felt pretty good about the matchup. I started off with Gengar just to see what he was going to do. Um, this, of course, is Galimja, which has played a few different roles. Unfortunately, I can't have Pain spill it or the or uh, disable on Galimja because I didn't breed on there originally. But I do get a nice burn on Blissey. Now I get to at least see if he has Heal Bell or if he's just going to switch out to get rid of the burn. Uh, he switches into his um, Bisharp as I actually predicted him to switch out into, uh, or I actually predicted him to stay in. That's why I went for Sludge Bomb. Um, I miss my will o -Wisp on Bisharp, which sucks because now we get to play this game where Bisharp runs train on my team for a little while before I can manage the damage because he got a free Swords Dance from that and he's also missing a turn of burn damage. That would have been really, really nice. Uh, I bring in Colonel Twist here. Colonel Twist, of course, has Technician and not Intimidate, so I wasn't afraid of accidentally activating Deviant. Uh, unfortunately, a Sucker Punch after the Iron Head with the, the neutral attack is enough to knock out Colonel Twist because he's more offensive. So I kind of waste him right there. I should have basically just gone into one of my more bulky type Pokemon. I go out into Charizard here, go for Substitute expecting the Sucker Punch, but he goes for Iron Head. And I didn't have enough HP to go for another Substitute. I really could have gone for a Dragon Dance here and stalled him out. And overall, I think that this was a really poor play to go into Charizard. I didn't really have any reason to. I could have very easy, just easily just gone into Clefable. Clefable's unaware would have ignored the plus two from the uh, Swords Dance, and he would have still been burned. So I would not have taken very much damage from Iron Head. Now that's okay though. I lost basically three Pokemon to Bisharp. Um, I didn't really lose Gengar, but now he knows Gengar's entire set, which is never good. Knowledge is power, as they say. And so I'm definitely uh, behind as far as momentum goes. Here he reveals that he has Wish on Blissey, which I just always, I just hate Wish Blissey so much. So if you were to legitimately get a Wish Blissey, that'd be one thing. But they made that an actual, an, an event Pokemon for a reason. That's, it's just so very annoying. But anyways though, that is part of the, the, the draw of Blissey, I suppose. And that's why it's fun to KO them. That's one Pokemon you'll never probably see me use. Uh, but he actually passes a wish into Leafeon here. The Moonblast doesn't end up doing any damage. So I decided to paralyze him. I wasn't sure what to expect from Leafeon. Uh, I know generally what sets they run or what I run on a Leafeon, and I know what moves they can learn, but they can also learn Rock Tomb. So I was really afraid to bring in Swallow on Leafeon, and I had several opportunities to do so between the Toxic and the Leaf Blade. 
and he actually also has synthesis and protect instead of wish and protect and i was worried that he had wish and protect which is why i didn't switch out earlier now here as i switch into gengar i figured that he'd switch into something else namely the blissey but he actually just stays in and goes for uh synthesis so that was kind of unfortunate because now he gets all that hp back and i have to take some unnecessary entry hazard damage alongside my toxic orb. I do misclick here and hit Brave Bird instead of Facade. I had absolutely no reason to go for Brave Bird. Uh, seeing that his only attacking move was Leaf Blade, he couldn't do very much to me too, and maybe half. And then if he brought in Blissey on the Facade, I would not have taken all that recoil damage for the misclick. But uh, furthermore, since I did take all that damage, that means I can't even uh, protect here to live the possible fake out from Hitmon Lee. And I, I, it is good that I get him to use that gem up, I suppose. But Yuxi's gonna come in. I want to set up Reflect because I figured I could live any any knockoff, even a critical hit knockoff, and set up the Reflect after getting rid of the Toxic on Michael Fable. Um, reflect is going to be nice here. Unfortunately, unfortunately Yuxi goes down, and Yuxi is definitely my favorite of the Lake Trio. I was using Mesper in the LBA some, and that's proven to be pretty good as well. Now, with Clefable in here and the Reflect up, I need to get my HP back. Based on what he has left, I can actually still win this battle as long as I don't encounter any unfortunate hacks, basically. Uh, I'm unable to one-hit KO Hitmonlee with Moonblast, which sucks, but it does basically force him out. Um, as long as I'm able to hit all these Moonblasts on Leafeon, I will definitely be able to finish off Leafeon before he's able to recover his HP. Fortunately, he is paralyzed, so his speed is dropped and I'm able to finish off Leafeon. He does have Thunderous in its uh, incarnate form, which is pretty annoying because he has Paralysis that he can use and I can't paralyze him because he's an electric type. I was really hoping for a special attack drop. I don't get it, but I do live the Sludge Wave even though it's Life Orb, which was amazing. And I almost knock him out with another Moonblast. Based on the damage from the first one, I probably just got a minimum roll, but that's okay. Uh, he switches out into Hitmonlee here as I go for Wish, and all I needed was Protect. If I had just gotten the Protect, I would have been in a great position. But now, with his um, Thunderous being alive, it doesn't matter if I KO Hitmonlee, because now Thunderous can come back in and paralyze my Gengar, and that means I no longer outspeed his Charizard Y. So that's going to be the end of the battle, unfortunately, as I even get a little bit of Salt to the Wound, not even being able to knock out Thunderous for a better differential. Um, and he's able to finish me off with a Thunderbolt. So that was my first battle in the ADL, and my food is finished cooking, so that's that's a thing. Perfect timing there. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Look for, forward to more battles from the ABL. I will have overlays for these at some point. I'm just dreadfully behind, which is why there haven't been any uploads for a month, basically. But we're finally back on schedule, and I will do an update video eventually explaining everything. So look forward to more ABL matches, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye now.